This is your weak foot right now. Pathetic. And this is your weak foot after this video. Let's go. Today we've got why your weak foot is no good, how to train it, and how to maintain it. Now, the first thing you need to know is that if you don't use it, you lose it. That applies most of the time to everything in life. For some of you guys, it's like your foot stinks and the ball just stays away from your weak foot. Not today. There are five points, five exact points that you have to take care of if you want your weak foot to be better. And the very first one is balance. Follow me on this. Your ability to balance on your weak foot is actually great because you're always using your strong foot, which means that your weaker foot is balancing everything for you. You need to switch this. And the way to do this is to swap and to actually get repetitions like crazy by balancing on the foot that you're not used to doing it on. That's where everything in this is going. It's about repetitions. It's not only about repetitions, but the best thing you can do is start to hop, move, dance on the ball, left and right, moving backwards mainly. If you move forwards with the ball while standing on one foot, it's pretty awkward. We don't really do that. The best way to do this is to back up one foot on the ball, keep your foot on the top, dance, move left, right. Once you've got a feel for this and always make sure to make it game-like, we can move on to something way more complicated in the juggling. If we made some of you take a weak foot test, a lot of you guys would fail based on control. What I mean by that is, can some of you juggle the 10 on your weak foot? Why not? You know why that is, you avoid it. And if you avoid the problem, it's just gonna get bigger and bigger and worse and worse. And it's gonna get to the point where you don't even want to fix the problem. Juggle, you have to juggle at least 100, only on your weak foot, right? Once you have the ability to keep the ball up and juggle to 100, and even if you can't, just juggle a little bit. The ball drops at five, pick it up, keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, it drops again, keep going all the way up to 100. This is how you master your weak foot. All right, it has to be tamed like a dog or like a wolf. Yes, Will John has tamed a wolf before, just like you are going to tame your weak foot by juggling to 100. The one thing you know that will give you one thousand. The one thing you know is going to give you a 1000% return from your weak foot. I don't need to tell you why it's important. You already know. The problem is you're not training it, and here's the easiest, most efficient way to do so. If you've laid out a few cones, you know exactly what I'm going to tell you to do, except for we're not gonna use the same rhythm that we would with two feet. Now it's about dynamically and consistently focusing on actually dribbling the ball into... It's about dynamically and consistently dribbling the ball directly through your... What you want to do during these dribbling series is forget completely that you have a strong foot. Your weak foot is now your dominant foot. Once you do these dribbling drills and dribbling through the cones, once you are in a training session, you have to use only, and I mean only for a full training session, once a week, only your weak foot. Developing new skills is an absolute must with your weak foot. Why? Because the game is built on creativity. And instead of trying to do exactly what you do with your strong foot, you have to change. This is your weak foot. It's different opportunities. You'll have different sensations. You'll have a different understanding of the game. For instance, the hocus pocus. You guys know the move. My left foot doesn't want to do that skill. If I go to do the hocus pocus, it has to be with my right foot. And so when you are looking to develop your new skills, your new abilities, don't go there with the same mentality of your strong foot. It's a different situation. Take five to 10 skills that you normally wouldn't do. Try practicing these with your weak foot and watch as you've opened up new pathways in the brain. That's called neuroplasticity. Jesus Christ, I'm smart. Let's just go to the next one. Shooting. The part of the game that you probably wanted us to start with, it's the last. Not because it's not important, but because if you don't take care of the other things, you won't ever get a chance to shoot and score, my friends. It is important. The number one issue most players have is locking their ankle with their weak foot. When they go to shoot, it looks like the 
limp fish. Got that limp fish shot. You don't wanna have a limp fish shot. Who wants to have that? Nobody, lock your ankle. That's the very first thing. Obviously, we're gonna to need to have repetitions. You wanna start off small. You need more repetitions. You don't need to start way out there, hitting the ball as hard as you possibly can. No, get in close to the net, tap the ball out wide, make sure that the mechanics are correct. The most important thing in shooting is your technique. Make sure that it's right. Run through the steps, tap the ball out, smack it, boom. Right off the net, get it back again, tap, again, and again, and again. That, my friends, is how you take your weak foot from no good Does, is no one respect? Does no one, does no, no, nobody just respects that I'm filming out here. Like I'm not, like I'm not a star, huh? They only do it when J-Mike's around. Everybody's quiet because it's J-Mike. Now that you've converted your pathetic weak foot into this, it's time for you to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out that description box for everything from us here at Unisport. And we, my friends, will see you later. Let me open these. I'm probably strong enough to open. How do we?